seven mystery football kits and they're gonna decide my FIFA team. Starting off with kit number one, which cost me 40 pounds. I'm gonna reveal the kit to you guys first before I see it. One. Oh, starting off with the first kit. Two, one. Wait, this kit is fire. This kit is sick. Selangor FC Malaysian Super League. I'm going to give each kit a rating. You know what? This one's starting off really high. First looks, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. You know what? This kit, I actually like it. I don't like this. The collar is not too great, but it's a cool kit. With every kit, we have to add a player past or present from that club to our team. However, we've encountered the problem straight away as I have no clue of anyone who plays for this team. There's not even a Malaysian league on FIFA, so we can't even add a player from this team. These are the most famous players to play for the club, and I don't recognize is one person. Ante Kovacevic. Uh, he sounds like Kovacic. You know what? We're just going to add Kovacic to the team. <laughs> Moving on to box number two. I'm going to look away. Three, two, one. Oh. Ooh. I like the look of this. I don't know if you can see it. There's a big 96 on the kit as well. That looks so sick. I actually really like this kit. I'm going to give this one an 8.2. Do you know why? Because it's got big 96. I like the fine detail. The only problem with this kit is the collar. Why are they being funky with it? Why not just make a normal collar, put a button there? Like, oh, this one cost me £34, by the way. Apparently, Alan St. Maximum played for Hanover. So let's check. Did Alan St. Maximin play. Let's go! We're going to add a current Hanover player to the team as well. Wait a second. 88 pace for a centre back. Moving on to mystery shirt number three. And this one is a chunky boy. Damn, boy, he fit! It's in a packet. That's not a good sign. Where's the freaking badge? That. Whoa! This is a sick kit. I don't know what, what the Cape Coast Abusa third kit. This is a, a Ghanaian Premier League team. These are some shit teams, but the kits are fire. I actually really like this kit. I'm going to give it an 8.6. It looks gorgeous. But are we even going to be able to add anyone from this team? And the answer was no. As this team's not on FIFA and there's no one famous to play for this team, really, we're going to choose a player from the Ghana international team. I'm pretty certain a Vedi Pele played for the Ghana. Ghanaian international team. Yes, he's Ghanaian. We're going to grab ourselves a Betty Pele. All right, moving on to mystery shirt number four. Let's go. Three, two, one. Bosh. There's a badge. This feels like Sweden. It's like a long badge. I mean, it's all right. That's not that bad. Tigres is the first team, I think, that we can actually add a decent player. I'm going to give this kit a uh, five out of ten. It's not something you're going to see me wear much. Tigres has had quite a lot of big players in the past, and I'm pretty sure there's one icon that I know plays for them. Luis Hernandez. I'm pretty certain he had a spell at Tigres. Let's go. 64 games, 38 appearances. Boys, I also think this guy also played for Tigres at one point. Tigres! I think I'm gonna go for Campos because the likelihood is we'll probably get some better attackers we can add to the team. For 25k, Campos, welcome to the squad. Moving on to mystery shirt number five, which is in a bag. Already off to a bad start. We're just gonna rip it. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, that is a beauty to the retro Barcelona kit. I'm going to give this kit an 8.9. And it's Barcelona, so we get to add so many players. There's simply too many Barcelona players to add to the team that I've gone and put them in a spin wheel to decide for us. And we're going to let it choose two. One for the team, one for the bench. Actually, if I get Maradona, I might go broke. So I might not want a Maradona. Oh my god, I might get Maradona. Xavi, okay, we got to add Xavi to the team. Give me Messi. I'm feeling it. It's only right that we had Messi. Oh, R9! Oh, my God. I might go broke. 1.9 million coins for R9. Let's add him to the team. Does your team suck? It's not looking good, bruv. Are you tired of getting absolutely battered? If so, then make sure to check out U7 Buy for cheaper, reliable foot 23 coins. And use the code SIM2 for an extra 5% off. Link in the description below. Oh, go on, man. Moving on to mystery kit number six. I'm going to look at it at the same time with you guys. I'll give this a 6.5. I actually quite like this kit. I don't think it's that bad. It's Boys, I've been absolutely mugged off. We paid 35 quid. It's 19 pounds on classic football shirts. I recommend not buying from this place. As this team's not on the game, we're just going to add a random Turkish player. Moving on to mystery shirt number seven. It's a blind review again. Bosh. Three, two, one. Oh! 
Oh, Porto. This is a banging kit. And Porto has so many good players that have played for them and play for them. You know, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to give this one an 8.4, but I really like this kit. There's actually too many players who've played for Porto. We've got players like Alexandro, Luis Diaz. We've got Pepe, Alex Tellez. But there's one player who, ah, uh, he's an icon, Casillas, which as you can see, he played quite a lot of his career at Porto. But we have a goalkeeper already. But this beautiful foot hero also played for them. And as you can see, he's wearing the Porto kit. He played quite a long time at Porto, 116 games, six years. I think we got added to the team. We're also going to add a player who currently plays for Porto. I think it only makes sense we add Pepe to the bench. Moving on to the next kit. Three, two, one, boom. Bro, are you serious right now, bro? There's no way. This is the same kit. I guess I'll give away this kit to one of you guys to win. All you have to do is comment go in the comments below to enter the giveaway. We already added another Porto player to the bench, so we're just going to slap him straight in the team. This next kit is from my mum. I told her to just get me whatever kit you fancy. It's in a bag. I'm not even going to look. Bomb. Oh, no. What is this? Why is it like rubbery? That's the kit. Oh, Inter. That is flames. She's actually done a shift. Everyone smash the like button for Simum. Forget all these mystery kits. We just need a Simum mystery kit. And there's so many players who we can add from Inter to this team. Yeah, I'm going to give this kit a 9 out of 10. So we need a left back, a right back, or right mid. And I know there's a left back who played for Inter Milan who we have to add. Roberto Carlos, which if we have a look, I'm pretty certain he spent one season at Inter Milan. Yes, he did. So we're going to add him straight to the team. I think I'm still waiting on a mystery shirt, so we've only got one more left. But we've got two positions left. So this is going to decide one of the positions. But then, this base icon pack will decide the last position. Three, two, one. Boom! It's not the best kit. It's also not the worst kit. I'm not too much of a fan of this one. Why is the collar different? We could add poor two. So we only have one more position remaining. It's time to open the icon pack, but we're going to reveal it. 72 physical. Defending's low. That could be good or bad. Dribbling. Oh, no. Oh, passing stinky. Shooting 86. Please be good. Ooh, 86 pace. Let's find out who it is. Oh, it's sh. We're now going to play one game with this team, and if I don't win this game, I'm going to have to discard the icon we just packed. And we were off to a great start. I don't know why, but my team felt so stiff. As this game progressed, I got more and more irritated, as you can see. And it got way worse. Every shot I took or touch I made just wouldn't work in my favor, and it was really beginning to irritate me. I played a beautiful through ball to R9 to put in 1v1 with the keeper and put pressure on my opponent. But then this happened. Are you serious? Game is... Larson, goodbye. Get out!